As the electromagnetic railgun erupts with a blue arc of electricity, the 80,000-ton steel colossus propels the dark gray fighter jet into the sky. Has the name of a new ruler already been etched into the skies of the Pacific Ocean? The dark gray flash of lightning on the deck of the Fujian aircraft carrier tears through the dawn as the J-35 soars into the sky with the brutal thrust of the electromagnetic catapult. The three-second footage captured by CCTV cameras is a condensed version of China's maritime power epic, the J-15T heavy fighter jet accelerates from a standstill to 360 km per hour, with golden sparks flying from the friction between the wheels and the track. Tracing a declaration of technological revolution in the morning mist over the Pacific, this 80,000-ton behemoth, the world's only conventionally powered vessel capable of electromagnetic catapult launch, is shattering the skepticism that conventional power cannot drive electromagnetic catapult launch with the 260,000 horsepower output of its 445 3D steam turbines. On the deck, commanders wearing green vests emblazoned with the catapult emblem wave their hands downward, triggering the medium voltage DC power supply system to silently store energy beneath the deck. 36 linear motors work in tandem, accumulating 100 megawatts of energy every two seconds, equivalent to the instantaneous power demand of a medium-sized city. The medium-voltage DC system achieves a 90% energy conversion rate, far surpassing the 60% efficiency ceiling of the U.S. Ford-class aircraft carrier. Supercapacitor energy storage technology has solved the global challenge of pulse power supply. A 45-second charge can release 120 megajoules of catapult energy propelling a 33-ton J-15T fighter jet like an arrow leaving the string. While the conventional power system can still stably output 260,000 horsepower, completely ending the Western iron law that nuclear power is a prerequisite for electromagnetic catapults, the adaptive closed-loop control system can adjust thrust in real time based on the weight of the aircraft, outputting full power when launching a 33-ton J-15T and automatically reducing frequency when launching a 20-ton Attack 11 drone with acceleration fluctuations controlled within 5%. With a record of zero faults and over 1,000 land-based launch tests, the failure rate of 1 in 3,200 is only 1, 78th that of the Ford-class carrier. Modular design further enhances maintenance efficiency. A single track failure can be replaced in 15 minutes, while the Ford-class requires a 90-minute shutdown. The three launchers are strategically arranged without redundant idle capacity, achieving a higher actual utilization rate than the Ford Class 4 tracks. The transformation of the J-35 naval version goes far beyond a mere paint job. With a radar cross-section of 0.01 square meters, it becomes an invisible assassin when equipped with gallium nitride radar. The cockpit canopy coating and fuselage absorptive coating dissipate electromagnetic waves invisibly to withstand the 2.8G overload during electromagnetic catapult launch. The pilot's seat is reclined by 12 degrees to cushion the acceleration impact. The front landing gear has been upgraded to an elephant leg structure with a 20% increase in pillar diameter and an integrated multi-stage hydraulic cushioning system. During landing, four hydraulic cylinders dissipate the impact load, which is three times that of a land-based aircraft, in a manner akin to Taikai force absorption. The sawtooth-shaped exhaust nozzle of the WS-13E Tation engine hints at the supersonic cruise potential of the WS-19 Huangshan engine, which will provide 24 tons of thrust enabling a cruise speed of 1.8 Mach, far surpassing the F-35C. When the wings fold seamlessly to a width of 8.8 .8 meters, the deck magically frees up 48 aircraft berths. The internal weapons bay houses four PL-15 and two PL-10 missiles, complemented by externally mounted YJ-91 anti-ship missiles, enabling seamless switching between stealth penetration and anti-ship hunting modes. The KJ-600 early warning aircraft has set a record of 187 consecutive flawless launches, becoming a force multiplier for the system. Its gallium nitride dual-band radar maintains a 90% target recognition rate even under strong electromagnetic interference. Locking onto stealth targets with a radar cross-section, or CS, of 0.01 square meters, at a distance of 500 kilometers. In contrast, the U.S. Navy's E-2D sees its recognition rate plummet to 60% under the same conditions. The Ghost Butler system beneath the deck turns science fiction into reality. I scheduling algorithms automatically identify aircraft type attributes, prioritizing the J-35 for electromagnetic compatible parking spots with charging stations, while the Attack 11 drone 
can be parked and retrieved instantly in the shared zone. A 30-person scheduling team's operations are compressed to 90 seconds by the algorithm. The intelligent deck, embedded with magnetic sensors, continuously monitors the positions of carrier-based aircraft, while logistics robots enhance ammunition resupply efficiency by 300%. The cloud deck system enables the KJ-600 to transmit real-time air situation data directly to the dispatch center, with I automatically generating the optimal attack wave sequence plan, 17 times faster than traditional manual planning. This system supports a lethal combat capability combination, 20 J-35 fighters form an air superiority network, 12 J-15T fighters armed with YJ-21 anti-ship missiles with a range of 1,000 km stand by for a decisive strike, 4 KJ-600 aircraft establish a command dome with a radius of 500 km, and 8 attack 11 drones armed with 500 kg warheads execute swarm suicide raids. Together, they achieve an extreme sortie rate of 300 aircraft per day equivalent to three times the combat capability of the Shandong aircraft carrier. The countdown to the commissioning of the Fujian aircraft carrier is reshaping the power balance in the Pacific. The three aircraft carriers have established a precise rotation mechanism. The Liaoning serves as a floating hangar, training an average of 120 pilots annually. The Shandong deploys 48 YJ-21 missiles to defend the first island chain, and the Fujian leverages its three electromagnetic rails to unlock its blue water capabilities. As the J-35 covers the F-16B base east of Taiwan Island with a combat radius of 1,250 kilometers, the KJ-600 command network envelops Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, and the electromagnetic catapult drone fleet of the Type 076 amphibious assault ship, the Chinese Navy has for the first time pushed its anti-access defense line into the core waters of the Western Pacific. At this moment, the U.S. military is forced to deploy 75 percent of its aircraft carriers to the Pacific, and the recent avoidance of the South China Sea by the Nimitz-class carrier is a sign of the strategic balance tilting. The history of this steel colossa breakthrough is an epic of technological faith. Researchers inscribed, safe and sound, on the quality test vehicle, while crew members etched, master the seas, launch the future, on the hull walls, these simple words carry the weight of 17 years of aircraft carrier development, starting from the dismantling of Soviet blueprints for the Liaoning, to the indigenous improvements of the Shandong, and then skipping steam catapults to directly enter the electromagnetic era with the Fujian. China has achieved a technological leapfrog of six generations of U.S. carriers through three generations of its own. The medium-voltage DC technology developed by academician Ma Weming's team has been dubbed by foreign media as the fifth revolution in power systems, and its engineering application has paved the way for the 120,000-ton nuclear-powered aircraft carrier of the Type 004 class. During eight sea trials totaling over 117 days of rigorous testing, the scork marks on the deck flame barriers bear witness to the peak efficiency of launching 36 carrier-based aircraft and one are during full deck launch tests. As the countdown to sea trials nears its end in late summer 2025, when the tire marks of the J-35 aircraft are deeply imprinted on the deck of the Fujian-class aircraft carrier, the deep gray silhouette tearing through the dawn will ultimately become the most precise weather forecaster in the skies over the Pacific Ocean. The blue arcs of electromagnetic tracks not only illuminate the flight paths of the aircraft taking off, but also ignite a century-old dream of a nation venturing into the deep blue. At this moment, Amidst the surging waves of the Western Pacific, the roar of the steel colossus heralds the dawn of a new era of maritime power.